Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Kelvin Wilson of We Do Movies, and I'm back with another commentary video. Uh, and I'm just going to talk about Black Lightning. If you've seen my first video about Black Lightning, this is probably when the pilot episode appeared. I just talked about that pilot episode and talked about how wonderful I thought it was. If you want to check that out, go to my YouTube channel at We Do Movies and you can check that video out. So even though the season isn't over and it seems like we have a couple of episodes left, I do want to talk about Black Lightning and why I think it's one of the best superhero shows or maybe even the best show on television right now. Now... I know what you're thinking. You're probably thinking, how is this the best show on television right now? Why do you say that? Isn't there another show that's a lot better than Black Lightning or another superhero show that's better than Black Lightning? You could say that, but like I said, I am just giving my opinion. This is how I feel. I know the majority of people didn't really know who Black Lightning was. I myself didn't really know who Black Lightning was because I'm not an avid reader of DC Comics. Didn't really know about Black Lightning until I saw Black Lightning pop up on one of the DC animated TV shows. So with the rise of like Black Panther, Luke Cage, and now Black Lightning, we didn't really know what to expect from the television show black lightning but the show has impressed me to the point where i feel like i can't miss a single episode and yes i already hear the criticisms it's super cheesy uh superhero show it's a w uh it's a wb type cw show i get it and yes it is cheesy and yes it does Go into the whole CW repertoire once in a while. But beyond that, it talks about some very serious issues within the black community. And a lot of TV shows, they may deal with it or deal with some aspect of it. But Black Lightning does it on a constant day-to-day -day episode basis. And let's just talk about this. Black Lightning talks about race, politics, gang violence, the issues that go on in the black community, the distrust of the police, the black family, the black broken family, the community. It deals with so many different issues. But it's not going to get go hardcore with the message because guess what? Like you said before, or I could hear the criticisms now, and you're absolutely right. It is a show on the CW, and it's a part of the Arrowverse or the DC TV universe or whatever they want to call it. But it's funny when you when you have these shows, especially TV shows that deal with certain topics. And of course, they hit these topics in a certain way that will be effective, but also realize that there is still an audience watching who may not be the same color of skin as I am, but I think that it's still effective in the storytelling that it wants to tell. Now, I really do enjoy the cast of this show, and the cast of the show, it's uh, Cress Williams, who plays Black Lightning, a.k.a. Uh, Jefferson Pierce. You have... China Ann McClain, you had Nefessa Williams as his two daughters, Marvin Jones the third, who plays Tobias Well, Christine Adams, who plays Lynn Pierce, and James Remar as Peter Gamby. Every Tuesday, every episode that I've seen, I've been such a fan of, and I've never had any bad thing to actually say about any of the episodes so i'm so proud of shows like black lightning insecure blackish atlanta and other shows that have not only been entertaining but able to educate at the same time and like i said yes black lightning can be cheesy at points especially with their message but they're getting the message across and that's all that matters. And I love the fact that 
this show was originally supposed to be on Fox instead of the CW. And I'm glad that Greg Berlanti and the husband and wife team of uh, Salim and Mar Brock Akil wanted to do a genuine superhero show with messages that touch not only minorities, but can open up dialogue for everybody else. But let's not forget, like I mentioned before, there was a show that had that had a first season and is about to come out with a second season that dealt with some of these same issues, that show being Luke Cage. And I know the impact that Luke Cage had not only to comic book fans, but the issues, the style, the music. It was very unapologetically black. The only thing that Black Lightning has that's better than Luke Cage, even though Luke Cage broke the internet and broke uh, Netflix. But the one thing that Black Lightning has over Luke Cage is consistency. Now, the first five, six episodes of Luke Cage was really, really good. But I'm, I know I'm probably going to get into some spoilers if you haven't seen Luke Cage I'm sorry, but I'm just going to have to say it. But once they killed Cottonmouth, the second half of the show just went kaput. But all in all, I still love Luke Cage and I love the shows that's being presented and the movies that's being presented as well. And with the success of Black Lightning and Black Panther, Luke Cage and the other shows that I mentioned before, it looks like Hollywood movies and television has to understand one thing. TV and movies with diversity and great storytelling will always work. But that's just my opinion. You guys tell me what you think. You can hit me up at We Do Movies on Facebook. You can see all of my commentary videos and my movie reviews not only on the facebook we do movies page but on my youtube channel as well and until then we'll see you next time peace